Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah Ray Vargas. Today we're talking about fashion and figure. More specifically, we're talking about the new shoes that they just dropped. But look, I just did that little trick, you know, where you like tie the, the thing around your bra. Okay. It worked out. We're here to talk about fashion and figure. They are sponsoring this video because they love me and because they love you, they have given me a code, Sarah20, will get you 20% off of whatever the hell you want, okay? Through April 30th. So I will have links to everything down below. I'll have links to all the shoes. I know they're going quick. I saw their comments. People are snatching them up, but since fashion figure is a plus size brand and they yeah, they, just, they give the girls what, what they want, they really do. So since they're a plus size brand, their shoes are a wider width, which I enjoy. They're not crazy wide width, like I find that Torres wide width shoes run hella big. Fashion figure, I find that they do a wide width very well. They keep you in the size that you're supposed to be in, but they just give you that little bit of space that your foot might need. So I've told you guys before, I'm on the cusp of needing a wide width. Some retailers I do, some retailers I don't. Some retailers a wide width is absolutely overdoing it, like Tori, like I just said. Um, other retailers, they're just killing the game. And so it creates a very comfortable shoe environment. But we're also gonna talk clothes. I have a lot of clothes to show you guys. So we'll start with this little dress, the Echo. Can you hear? I'm so sorry about the Echo. We literally just got a new bed delivered like 30 minutes ago and we don't have a headboard and I painted. Can you see? Oh my gosh, I painted and I showed it on Instagram. It was like, it was a moment. But um, anyway, I've got doors. I've got a whole makeover happening in here, but pardon the noise. Let's pop on our little shoes. I, is there a better shoe I could wear with this? What shoe would you wear with this? Because like, it's not quite a nude nude. It's more of like a, I don't know, it has almost like an olive -y kind of undertone. Would you wear like a straight up nude? Oh, I know what I would wear with this dress, not these black ones. Okay, I actually really love how they designed this one because it's up to you how loose or hard, like, oh my gosh, I love how they designed this freaking shoe. I didn't even realize this until just now, but you can basically make it as tight or as loose as you want over the actual ankle, which is clutch. You know, cause like maybe your ankle is not really wide. It's more so like, you know, this particular area of your foot that runs wide. Fab, this one's perfect. This is freaking perfect. The black ones were like gonna be way too over the top. These are really comfortable. It's a super chunky heel. Okay, as far as these shoes, I'm freaking loving it. I think they look really, really good. Now, when it comes to plus size girls walking in heels, I know it can be a bit of a challenge for us. It's hard to support a lot of weight on two pencil thin little heels. It is challenging. Also, there are a lot of videos online showing you how to walk in heels incorrectly. I don't know why they exist. I don't know who the hell's walking like that, but it's not a big girl, let me tell you that. These heels are gonna be your friend because they have a chunky, chunky base on them, and that just equals support. The bigger the heel, the more support you're gonna have. The smaller the arch, the more comfortable your foot is gonna be. You don't have to be sky high to look like really sexy and have very cute, you know, heels on and to elevate a look, and don't overdo it. <laughs> just do what you can manage and exude the confidence and you know, show people how you feel in what you're wearing, but don't overdo it. Don't don't jump into a, a pair of like six inch high heels if you can't walk the walk, basically. Cause then you're just gonna be out here looking like it's your first day with legs. And I just don't think you want that, okay? I don't think you want that. I got everything in a size one or a 16 in case you're curious for size reference. Um, but I got this set in a size one. It is two separate pieces. The top is completely off the shoulder. It's a rib knit, really, really stretchy, very comfortable all the way around. And then for the matching skirt, uh, you probably can't really see, but it does, here we go. Now you can see it does have this little tie in the front, which connects on both sides. So it is functional in the fact that you can bring the waist in tighter. Um, you could tie it in the back if you wanted to, like over the butt. You could kind of do whatever you want there. I obviously tied it into a bow, but you could just let it hang. I really like that look too. I like when there's like a long line there. I feel like it kind of elongates the body. Um, but otherwise, it's your basic sort of bodycon skirt, a little pencil skirt. Again, a rib knit matching, obviously. I think it's cute when you can see a little bit of skin. I tend to run a little bit. I tend to run short. I find that their sets tend to run um, a little bit on the 
longer side like they they could accommodate like a longer torso so oftentimes when i'm wearing their sets they do kind of meet each other um but i still think it's cute and if i didn't want that to happen i would just go ahead and fold it up ever so slightly and create that like little bit of skin moment but for the shoes here we go just so you know their shoes come in sizes 7 through 12 and like i said since it's a wide width it's accommodating for a plus size gal's feet we don't all have wide feet but I know sometimes we really need it, honey. So these are really cute. These are just little slip-ons, so they're very easy to put on. Oh, look at me, giving you length. <laughs> Had to shake it out. <laughs> they are really comfortable to walk into, but because they are not tied around the ankle in any way, they're gonna take a little bit more thought and a little bit more strength in like your toes to kind of keep the shoes on and keep them in place as you're walking so if you're someone who struggles with walking in heels i would not suggest to start with a slip on i think with a strap is probably a better place for you to start but these are very comfortable and that's mostly because one it's wrapping around a lot of your foot and the more of your foot that's covered by the actual heel, the more support you're gonna have because it's gonna be attached and a little bit more secure on your foot. Um, but also, even though the heel is mostly very thin, as you can see here at the base, it pretty much fans out about an inch. And this gives you more support than just your typical little stiletto would. So that was a smart idea. Plus, I personally really like how it looks. It's not a bitch cup of tea, but I like it. <laughs> um, and then you have the uh, squared off uh, part here in the front as well. And then there is a little bit of felt down here. Obviously, the tag is still on it, but I mean, I would take that off. <laughs> but there's a little bit of like felt down here so that you are not going to be slipping and sliding around when you're wearing these bad boys. I don't know if I mentioned this, but this is like the first drop from FTF with their shoes. They do release um, boots. I've gotten a ton of their thigh high boots and stuff in the past. So if you've never checked them out for that, they collaborate with uh, Nadia on thigh high boots regularly now and I love them I think she always comes out with super cute stuff different styles different colors and stuff like that so if you haven't checked them out for like boots and stuff yet either it's definitely a good place to go if you need wide like thigh okay because girl they give you they give you wide 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 so comfortable I love it now one thing the fashion figure does really well are their body cons. So we have one of their like everyday, you know, like midi length ones. Uh, this is in like a tank version. As you can see, it runs pretty long. I also have a pair of the sandals on. They're super cute. I'll show them to you up close in a second. <laughs> you can see my drawers through this bad boy, so I would highly suggest wearing something nude underneath, but they have it in pink a very bright yellow color. Again, they're all gonna give you the exact same fit. And then we also have red, which is definitely serving a little feisty, kind of fiery vibe here, which I really like. This is probably my favorite one. And I think this one actually looks the best with this little sandal. Of course, you could do it with a heel. You could dress it up, you could dress it down. You could wear some kind of like little sheer crop situation over this. You could wear it with like a cardigan. You could wear it, well, you could wear it a million different ways. You could tie it up at the um, knee, make it a little bit shorter. There are a lot of different things that you could do with their sort of like basic bodycon dresses, which they do very, very well. And then here's the up close and personal of the shoes. It's just a flat sandal, obviously, and it is like a little braided situation on the front here. These are pretty comfortable and they are definitely wide enough. Like they're pretty comfortable on my foot. Usually when I have a sandal, I do one that, um, again, it straps, it connects somewhere. Uh, but given that these don't connect anywhere and you're just sliding your foot into them, I still find them to be pretty comfortable. The foot of the actual sandal does have a bit of padding in it. I don't know if you can really see it, but it <laughs> does have some padding in it. All right, next up we have this little dress and this, of course, again, size one, which is a size 14, 16 at Fashion of Figure since they have plus sizes um, I tend to be a 16 at fashion to figure but when it comes to the zero one two three four then I'm a size one just because the size two is an 18 20 and that's obviously veering a little bit higher than where I normally stay which is a 16 18 but plus size brands run bigger typically numerically <laughs> the number will indicate a larger size than what you would find at like your typical straight size store so if you're let's say an 18 at american eagle at fashion to figure you're probably a 16 because their 16 is going to run a little bit bigger compared to 
a traditional straight size store. So hopefully that's helpful, um, which might be the same reason that a person that might wear like a size 12 in a traditional kind of straight size store, when they go to fashion to figure, the size zero might be too big for them or the size 12 might be too big for them because, you know, it kind of depends on how your weight is distributed and like, you know what I mean, what makes up that size on you. Um, but it's still worth trying out, I think, because Fashion Figure has some really amazing clothes. Obviously, they're doing well in the shoe game as well. Uh, but this whole thing is stretchy. It's like this crocheted kind of top layer. And then we have this little hang over here. It can be completely off the shoulder, but when I first put it on, I actually had it on my shoulder. And I don't know what it is, but the second that it comes up on my shoulder, I just feel a little more latina in me right <laughs> like i feel like uh, this is a little bit more of like uh what i'm used to culturally like in mexico um this i love i just really like this look i think the fit of this is surprisingly well and it does have a double layer so it does have the lining and then you have this on top which is stretchy so it does have give to it which is why it can kind of really serve that body but it can accommodate a lot of different sizes um it does have a slit up the left leg and there you can see the lining of course i could just pull the lining up ever so slightly if i didn't want it to show like that um but then beyond that it goes to me pretty much an ankle length. I think it's meant to be a little bit more of like a high ankle or like a midi length. Um, and if it is meant to be full length, I'm 5'4", so you decide <laughs> where that might land on you. Of course, some of it is being taken up by like my stomach, my butt, my uh, like hips and thighs area. Uh, and then with this one, I paired it with the same braided sandal, but this is the nude version of it, which is really pretty. It's a really pretty, nude i guess i'm calling it a nude but like nude is really not a very descriptive word <laughs> because nude is something different to everybody um but it is a little bit on the lighter side which i like i prefer this to like a camel color um i mean i have some like that too but this i feel like goes a little bit more universally with um most of my clothes so i like it now we've got another set and this is again a size one on top and on bottom it is very stretchy very much similar to the previous ones this one it's pretty high so i think for me one i would definitely wear these separately like i was gonna wear this with jeans which i might still do and show you guys how it looks with jeans but i love their little tops like this the little crop tops are so cute they're so comfortable i wear them all the time with my denim um but since this one has the matching bottom i wanted to show you what they look like together so both pieces obviously have buttons going all the way up and down and then it splits at the bottom and you have just a bodycon once again um a little bit a little bit of booty showing so <laughs> you might want to wear some new drawers with this one um but it is comfortable runs very true to size i will say that one thing about fashion figure is their stuff does run very 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 consistent in their sizing their consistency is out of this world it is very 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 rare that i have to like exchange something for a different size it is exceedingly rare which is definitely saying something because it's nice to get to know a brand, get to know your size, and then be confident when you're purchasing something that there's a very high likelihood it's gonna fit you. So with the shoes, these ones are a little bit too big for me. They're a little wide for me um, because they do have a strap across the front that's a little bit, like I said, I don't always need a wide width shoe. So these ones are running a little bit wider on the front, which <sighs> kills me because the ankle fits so 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 well i will say that i can probably i could probably get away with these like i probably could wear them because i do feel i feel very like stable in them like i could definitely walk and not have a problem but i would have preferred a little bit more security in there maybe if i make the ankles like really tight then then i wouldn't be tripping about it but i don't want to physically be tripping and that's why i'm saying it's a little bit big but they're so cute so these are them up close and personal. As you can see, the heels are not too, too high, but I think they are probably the highest one that I've shown you, probably the same as the um, the black ones I showed you earlier. Uh, but that little strap across the front, that is just ever so slightly too big for my foot. But if you do need a little bit more space there, these are probably gonna be a great fit. Otherwise, they feel very comfortable on the heel and um, on the back of my foot, like my ankle, so real cute in this part. 
plenty of room for a big ankle, which I got. So this set is very airy, very breezy, very lightweight. Um, it does have this little tie in the front. It can definitely accommodate more chest than what I'm giving it right now. I have it kind of back on my shoulders a bit, but if you needed more room in the front, you could definitely kind of finagle it so that you could have that. Uh, it does have like a flutter sleeve. So again, very light, very airy. And then the pants, we have this thick band of just stretchy elastic up here and then the rest of it is not stretchy at all so it just runs on the looser side it has a wide leg on it i wouldn't wear it with the shapewear like i have shapewear on from the dresses right now i wouldn't wear it with shapewear um because it's just a little it's not very comfortable for me <laughs> with shapewear on um but i like the length of it it pretty much hits the ground with the heels that i have on right now i think it's cute i'm obviously wearing a little block heel it's kind of hanging out and this is their like braided block heel again if you need stability <laughs> when walking or if maybe you're typically not that comfortable in heels and you're a bigger girl, I would highly recommend having a more substantial heel. It doesn't really matter how high up it is, although I wouldn't recommend going too high, like I said, without um, you know having the confidence that you can walk in that. And you can always wear them around your house, wear them up and down your stairs, wear them around the kitchen, wear them in places where it might be a little bit slick. Wear them around. <laughs> Wear them around when nobody's looking and it's, you know, you can just get in and out of them as you need to. Um, but a block heel is always going to give you way more stability. But like I said, if you want a ton of stability, make sure it goes around your leg or your ankle somewhere too. So this one is very helpful because it has two areas where it's being secured to your foot. And I find that both of them fit very well. So um, oftentimes with shoes like this, when I get them from other retailers, this part is way too tight on me. This one's always fine. This one's always way too tight. So of course, it fits perfectly because like I said, they're wide width. Okay, not gonna lie, I definitely thought this one was like not gonna be it for me, but I'm getting like some, I don't know, like some very flower power kind of vibes here. I'm into it, look at these pants. Okay, I ended up pairing it with a nice little nude shoe. The front of the pants does split on the flare so that you can see the shoe, especially when you're walking, it opens up. But the pants themselves fit really nicely. They have pockets here in the front and they're straight across, like come on. They're straight across, you have the stitching going down the front of the pants. I'm like kind of obsessed with these. I love the way that they fit. They look good all the way around. I don't have a huge like gap over my butt. It's pretty minimal. And then this, I was like, mm, I don't know if I'm gonna like that girl. That's not my style, <laughs> okay? but. I think it's cute. I think it goes. I would probably open it up a little bit. I only have my bra on right now, um, but I would probably open it up a little bit and maybe do something with like a light floral underneath, even like a light floral bra. I think that would look really cute. Um, I like the length of it. It's obviously it's see-through. It's just like this little crocheted top or knit top. I'm not exactly sure what it is, but it's really, it's really cute. It's like cuter than I thought it was gonna be. If I was wearing this, I would have to be like dedicated to the moment, you know? I'd probably have like a brown crossbody with maybe some like fringe or something on it. I would definitely go a little more like hippie style um, just cause I feel like that's the vibe I'm getting. And I think it's good, I like it. I think it's cute. Maybe a little maybe a little headband situation, what? You know who I keep thinking of is old girl from uh, Forrest Gump, Jenna. <laughs> So now we have a bodysuit, and their bodysuits always have plenty of torso in case that is something that is of any concern to you. And I actually just pulled this one up from the bottom. I mean, you don't have to do it that way, but that's how I did it. And then the front is all ruched. Let me brighten this bad boy up so you can see it. There you go, I become a ghost, but now you can see it. So the front is all ruched pretty much um, down to here. The ruching stops down here. You have the ruching again on the side and you have the little tie so you can adjust. I do love the little sweetheart look. I mean, it, for me, it kind of like helps create like a little bit of, you know, a little cleavage and stuff with my boobs here. So I really like that. It is very stretchy, very comfortable. And then I just paired it with these trouser shorts, which Listen, if you don't have trouser shorts, like get yourself one good pair. These ones are great. They have pockets. They have a very simple side zipper here. So this is obviously an exposed silver zipper. Um, I've gotten probably three or four pairs from Fashion to Figure in the past. I still have them. Um, so these ones are great because they're fully stretchy like all the way around. They're really comfortable. These are so good to have. One, because they're shorts. 
they're very comfortable, right? But like in the fall and the winter time, I will just pair them with like a pair of like dark, opaque, like black tights. Um, and I will make it, you know, a little look, pair it with a sweater, a nice uh, jacket or coat. It's so cute, it's so sleek, it's put together and you're wearing shorts in like colder months. But then obviously in the warmer months, you just, you know, glaze up them legs, girl. I just put some like little shimmery bronzer stuff on my legs, cause obviously I run especially pale on my legs. Um, so I will just put a little something on there, make them glisten, make them pretty. And then I like to pair them with like a button up or like a little bodysuit situation like this, or I'll do like a really airy uh, top, uh, like I said, like a button up top or something like that, but something that's like chiffon, something that's very breathable, something that's just letting me live and letting me be kind of cool, you know, temperature wise, but then I'm still put together because I'm wearing like, you know, trouser shirts and they're so freaking cute. They're so comfortable. They look good all the way around. I love them. Um, and then these I just paired with uh, another pair of their heels, obviously. So these ones are not super high and I'm going to show them to you. These ones come in two colors, clearly the black ones that I have on. And then uh, they have this more sort of tan color and the heel is not too big on these but it obviously is a thinner heel and then you just strap it around your uh, ankle so it goes around basically it crosses in the front and then it goes around one more time if you try to take it up your leg you're probably gonna have trouble <laughs> like I did um, I can't take it up my leg because my leg is too big so I just kind of double wrapped around my ankle and you'll notice like I said earlier um, one of my ankles is much bigger actually than the other like significantly bigger than the other that's just how my body is one side is bigger one leg is bigger than the other one boob is bigger than the other one arm is bigger than the other one cheek is bigger than the other people often times ask me if there's like something wrong or why i'm so swollen and it's just like this half of my face is smaller than this half of my face i don't know how to explain it i'm not symmetrical at all and so my ankles are super not symmetrical and this still worked out for me so <laughs> it does fit a slimmer ankle and it fits a bigger ankle as well and they're not that hard to get on um but and then once they're on what i like is that they seem to just be kind of staying like i wrapped it it's a really sexy heel it's very cute but as you can see once again i have stability and stability is what you need <laughs> when you're wearing heels okay especially when you're supporting you know 200 plus pounds 300 pounds like when you're supporting all this weight girl you need stability you need something that'll ugh, something you can stand on something that's got your back okay these worked out for me all right i jumped back into this little top to show you these shorts fashion figure has a ton of shorts if you haven't checked them out for shorts yet definitely give them a little peeksy poo hi kooka luka she just woke up from her nap. Um, I'm sure I'm in here just being all loud. You trying to leave, girl? You don't want, no, you don't want people to see you right now. You just gotta, gotta fix your hair. I feel you, dog. Let me know if you wanna come back. That's my cat, Coco. I don't know if you met her before, um, but they, of course, have pockets, like functional pockets. I mean, FGF, we're like right here, dog, okay? They always make sure the pockets work, all right? So I love them. I love them. I wear the crap out of them because they're so cute. So obviously, we have like this dip dye situation with like, like a bleach dip dye. Oh, wouldn't it be cute if you dipped them in like a color too? Like I have some stuff I need to tie dye. Whenever something white, <laughs> so I'm getting a stain, I'm like, put it in the pile. I'll tie down that one day. I'm going to tie down that. And you know what? I actually do sometimes. So anyway, very cute, very comfortable, super stretchy. They're size 16. Like I said, I explained the sizing. They run true to size for a size 16 in a plus size brand. And for those of you that insist I am lying, here you go. Size 16. Oh, you know what? You know what? I could have tied that on there. You're right. I probably did. And oh, we have a minimal gap over the booty. And then with these ones, I just paired it with these little um, sandals that they have that are like, they're like the little stretchy plasticky kind of sandals. And then they have all of these studs all over them. My favorite part of them, let me pop one off. It's exactly that, how easy they are to pop on and pop off. So I'm able to put these on and take them off just by kind of stretching it. I don't even have to use the two buckles that are up here, but you can see they're giving you these shiny, like studded little um, stones all over and they're pretty secured on there. They feel pretty good. Uh, and then besides that, the rest of it has give to it because of the way that it's made. So it has a little bit of give to it. It has a little bit of stretch. And then of course the actual um, sole of the shoe has a little bit of cushion as well. So they're very comfortable. They're not overly tight in any way. They're super cute. And it's like a really easy way to glam up an outfit or you know something casual or something a little bit fancier. 
especially summertime fancy, like ugh, blowy florals, oh, all of that. I'm so excited for it. It's an easy way to kind of glam it up without having to wear an actual heel if you don't feel like wearing a heel. So their new shoe game is great. I'm so excited to see what else they come out with. I'm so excited. I'm so excited because I feel like they do everything well. But you guys know, <laughs> me and FTF, we're like that. So um, I do have that code for you guys, Sarah20, use that on whatever you want, get 20% off, but do it soon because that code expires April 30th. Now, I'm excited. I'm gonna go make some content for my TikTok and my Instagram and stuff with all of these shoes. So be sure to follow me there if you do not. And of course, if you wanna see any of these uh, clothes or you know, if you wanna pick anything up for yourself, I will have the links to everything down below, including some other stuff that I didn't show but that I did try on and you know, I can vouch for. So <laughs> I will include uh, links for everything down below in the description box. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, consider it. Don't, if you don't want to. Um, but yeah, I'll see you soon. Uh, bye guys.